Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. So you are watching Mainframe Tutorial CICS Part 10. This is the continuation to my last video. So in my last video I was explaining about how do we uh, send a map using an application program and before that I was explaining about how do we send a map using a physical map. So there were two ways of representing or seeing a map onto the screen. So today's in this video I would like to share you about how do we send and receive a map and how what is the importance of it. So I say this is very very important uh, in coming uh, while learning on CICS concepts. So if you are aware of this if you understand these concepts I assure you that you are good at CICS that's it this is very it will be very simple so the same concept will be there whatever the whatever the program you will be writing code this is the core base you need to have it so I say this is very very important so so program to send and receive a map uh, before before I start a programming just I wanted to give in a brief point about this as we all know that the difference between accept and display in COBOL statements uh, in the same way here in CICS send will act like a display statement and receive will act like a accept statements so here is the one so send means display and receive means accept so I'm uh, I'm in my previous library I'm I'm giving my program name as program one so as usual it starts with identification division program ID environment division data division and working storage section so here is the actual thing that comes into the picture so so uh, I'm assuming that you have a map. So this this program is to calculate a simple uh, uh, is to, uh, to calculate two fields and send the results. That is addition. So I'm copying a map set name. So you will be having your map defined. So this is your map you need to define before you start programming. So you have a compute fields, input field one. So you have three fields. So you have to design accordingly to accordingly uh, as we discussed in my earlier videos how to design a map with using BMS macros. So you have to define this map. So to so map and map set. Okay. So after designing your map, you will be coming into your program. And uh, anyhow, after you define and install your map, so you will have your physical map and symbolic map, right? So you have to copy your symbolic map over here that is a symbolic uh, ma a copy map set name it is your symbolic maps get pro copied from your CSS library okay then coming into the procedure division so move low values to the map name inputs so it means that it passes all the zeros uh, considering that there are no junk values passed to this value variables so now exit CICS send map so now I'm trying to send a map to the user I mean sorry onto the screen of CICS so it will just send a map onto the screen where with that particular map name or map set name so in the same way exit CI just received map map name and map set name so what happens is once uh, once you send your map onto the screen so you have field 1 and field 2 so then after you enter your fields uh, the receive is the statement which gets received the fields respective fields and store into the variables so exit CICS and exit then compute so aha uh -huh, as a tool uh, in the map so you have three fields this is called input field one and input field two and results so so it starts with as we know that there are five fields uh, different kinds of fields generated for a single input field that is a uh, input output length attribute so i stands for accepting the input o stands for uh, throwing the output for calculation calculating the output right so uh, whatever the input values uh, received in this input one field and input two fields it will be stored it will be added and it will be stored into the output variable called out one zero so now I have the result stored into this so what I will be doing is now I would be sending map map name and map set name again so so what happens here is uh, so your data, uh, whatever the day values you, you enter here, that will remain the same and the results will be populated over here. Uh, once again, we are going to send the screen with the send map map name and return indicates that you come back uh, to come back the control from the CSS screen. So it will release the resources, what are the resource occupied while displaying the screen. So that's it. Uh, and exit stop run. So this is the uh, program you need to code. Uh, 
for simple uh, simple uh, sending a map and receiving a map so you might be having a different kinds of fields you might have a set of fields where you need to populate uh, you need you may need to uh, you may do a different kinds of calculations while sending a map or receiving a map so this is the main main uh, very important uh, program and uh, this stands a base program for the further uh, for the further writing of the programs other programs whatever you code so just understand this it is very very important send map receive map compute whatever the calculations you wanted to i stands for input and o stands for output send map name map set name exit and return edX don't forget to have a written statement over here okay stop run okay now then we will look into we will debug the program now so so in order to debug the program so in order to give a clear explanation about this uh, as I said you have to define your map and map set uh, you, this is your map you need to code using BMS macro you will be coding it and uh, you will be logging off your present screen and you will be logging on to your CSCS using CSN logon then you will define your map set uh, install your map set and uh, then again next step will be define your program and then your install your program and uh, define your transactions so I wanted to have a transaction so you will be defining your transaction with TR02 with the part that part for that particular program one so then in the same way you will be installing your transaction that's it so on the corner of your screens just you'll be typing tr01 tr01 then uh, once you type the tr01 over here your map get uh, your map get displayed onto the screen so now you what you'll be doing is user will be entering the values so suppose i'm entering 10 and 20 or are you okay 10 and 20 I'm entering it, the values onto the screen so so the first step was if you look at here exit CI is a send map map name map set names so then it will send this first screen so then the immediate step was receive map map name and map set name so in this part so you have entered 10 and 20 so these two variables are received into this field 1 and field 2 so this is where you receive this input 1 and input 2 and it will be calculated in out 1 0 so then again after cal doing a calculation you are sending your map so here the results are shown so that's it in this way the internal calculations happens for a simple CICS program so so this stands a base program so do practice do things do learnings okay that's all uh, for this today's video i would be coming up with more and more videos uh, with examples so uh next video would be like uh, this this is a simple program right this is a simple uh, map which is having compute fields input field and input results so i'm interested in having a uh, date having a date displayed over here date and uh, showing a time and it also shows time if it also shows time here then uh, I'll be good to display it will it is good right so sh uh, displaying date and displaying uh, time should be good so how to do this how to do how to display date and the time so we'll be I'll be coming up with more and more videos and uh, more and more programs about this and not only this date and time so we'll come we'll talk in more details about what are the different concepts we can use uh, there are like paging logic or link XC, xcgl and we have different concepts and different ways of in initiating the transaction just we are talking about uh, the only the one type of transaction where we are defining a transaction and installing the transaction with CEDA and CEMT and initiating the transaction so there are set of uh, various transactions different ways of initiating those transaction so we'll be looking into the more details about this I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video kindly feel free to share subscribe or comment me on this on the youtube channel so thank you so much have a great and pleasurable day